Installing a serpentine system or commonly known as a zigzag cable system from the heat tray specialist is easy. A few tools will be required, but having the right layout prior to installation is key to a successful installation. Before installing your roof clips, there are basic measurements needed. One, you need to measure how far up the roof deck you plan to install the heat cable clip system. Two, how far will your clips be installed to be properly spaced apart? The standard is 24 inches, but depending on your length, this measurement can be adjusted by 4 to 6 inches in either direction. Mark the locations of the following clips along the drip edge and install the clips accordingly. All the clips along the drip edge should be evenly spaced. Be sure to use appropriate screws that are long enough to reach the roof deck material. Before tightening the screws, be sure to use an exterior-based silicone or a sealant to properly seal the penetration. Mark the center point between the lower clips. Then mark your upper clip location depending on how far up the roof deck the original design indicated. Install clips similar to the previous clips. Ensure you are only installing a single clip. For best results, lift the corresponding shingle and install clips at a point where all the penetrations are hidden under the shingle. Seal with sealant. Installing clips in valleys, transition areas, or around dormers only require a clip every three to four feet on each side of the affected area. When installing these clips, ensure that the center of the valley is not penetrated. Space the clips a minimum of two to four inches out of the valley. Install the clip similar to the previous clips. Ensure proper sealant is used on each clip. Prior to installation, examine the heat cable to make sure there is no damage to the outer jacket. Starting at the end run where the end seal will be located. Attach the heat cable to the clips by bending the upper clip finger over the cable. Using a pair of pliers may be needed. Do not over tighten to potentially crush the cable. When installing the cable over the gutter or drip edge, use a large drip loop that extends over the gutter or the edge of the roof when a gutter does not exist. Do not bend the cable in a very small tight radius and avoid any possible kinking of the cable when unrolling. 